important for, for our county. I don't understand, and it, and it bothers me, why we're going to have the same conflicts in South County. Let's address them now and make sure that we don't end up in those same fights. We had a $5 million EIR hanging out there that may expire stale. We have to recreate the work, whatever we're going to have to do on that. Because our agencies couldn't get along, we got them in a room, we figured out what the real issues were, we got, got it out on the table, and, and we came up with a plan. That's incredibly important to me personally, and I think it should be for the, for the county. I think as South County Mobility go, moves forward, and we're talking about being out on the five corridor, OCTA has to be at the table for this. They have to be. They, measure M is a big issue for our county. Every time I hear we have a Measure M conflict on what we're studying at TCA, that raises red flags for me. Doesn't mean we shouldn't study it. We should, if that's what the state thinks we should be doing, but we need to actually be thinking about our EIRs, competing EIRs, should we be going on except, you know, opposing each other, or should we come together, create one document, one study that the taxpayer has to pay for one time? So that's my concern. I understand everything that you're saying here. I don't disagree with you on, on a lot of it, but it's something that I think these agencies need to come together and have a little bit deeper conversation about. Thank you for those comments, uh, Mr. Johnson. I'm sure, if I could, I, I, I think um, you and I have talked about this quite a bit, uh, Director Miller, and I, I understand the concerns, but I don't think they're, they're conflicts in the classic sense, uh, unfortunately, as you described. I think if, if, if Measure M needs to be changed, then the board can change that. There's a process for changing that. Your staff here is, is merely implementing what the voters have been promised. And in fact, uh, we were not at the table as a staff or as a board in the settlement agreement in December of 2016. But included in your packet today on March 2nd of 2017 is a letter that I wrote to Mr. Framing asking to please not interfere with Measure M. This is two and a half years since then, and we have not been able to get that away from that process. We go through an annual taxpayer oversight committee. It's 28 straight years has found OCTA's staff and board in compliance with Measure M. The things that are in front of us today are risk of putting us out of compliance with Measure M. And while I appreciate the uh, comparison to the 91-241, that has no real bearing on Measure M in the same way. It's sort of a different issue there. And I would also acknowledge that we have a very good working relationship with Ryan and his team at Caltrans. But we don't always see eye to eye on what the voters approved in Measure M and what the state of California's Department of Transportation would like to see. And there's a process to go through that, and it's sometimes difficult. And I think what we would like to see here is uh, the importance of Measure M and the sanctity of Measure M continue to be maintained. And this is not about uh, a staff level conflict or an agency level conflict. What I think it is is more about the set of plans that have been approved by the voters, put into the proper planning documents and the implementation of those. And without um, acknowledging you know, that, I think that is very problematic. Uh, we fully acknowledge the responsibility that TCA has on their corridors. And it's my goal, and I think the board's goal, not to interfere with that. We only engage when it's interfering with the projects that we have responsible for from a, from a statutory standpoint. And this is a very concerning and challenging process. We think there are ways around it. We wish some of these things could be uh, removed from the planning process prior to where we're at now. Some have been removed, some are still there but there are still uh, convincing and concerning areas. And I think it's the staff's responsibility to communicate to the entire board that this process as currently going forward has severe implications on your ability as an organization and our ability as an organization to deliver the promise of the voters, which was 70% of the voters passed in 2006. And if, if we decide we don't wanna do that, we think there's another better plan, then there's a process for the board to go through that and revote and rechange, eliminate projects, modify projects, and that is, is a is a we've done that before here. It's a little complicated, but that is a separate set of issues. So we're trying to make sure that we are delivering what this organization promised uh, that that's in writing and is, is pretty specific. Please, Judge Just real quickly, and that's exactly what I wanted to get to is because I think these.